Johnson, and this is not a date, all right? I just want to be super transparent. I'm only looking for an audience right now. <laughs> Don't you hate it when your date won't get off their phone? Whenever it happens to me, I just withhold intimacy and end the relationship in my head, right? <laughs> yeah. But here's a more fun solution. Couple girls writing notes, okay. <laughs> Look, we've all eaten some paper in our lives, right? Whether you got overly excited about a Reese's cup or you just had to get rid of some evidence. We've all been there. <laughs> Plus, that napkin is healthier than most of the food at American chain restaurants. <laughs> I think it's actually on the Skinnylicious menu at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> In other bad for you news, a new study has found that tampons are full of dangerous chemicals. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, besides the blood. Um, <laughs> they won't let me keep that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say most of those chemicals, so I'll let this TikToker list them for you. 16 metals were found in the tampons, arsenic, barium, calcium, cadmium, cobalt, chromium, copper, iron, manganese, mercury, nickel, lead, selenium, strontium, vanadium, and zinc. Uh, I'm pretty sure vanadium was the energy source the Transformers were looking for. <laughs> but I don't know. found lead in all the tampons from 14 major brands, including Playtex, Tampax, and Toxivag. <laughs> I heard it. We should have, we actually should have known that one. <laughs> I can't wait for guys to somehow use this to their advantage. Like, come on, babe, you're already putting lead up there anyway. Don't, <laughs> don't make your health even worse with condoms. <laughs> I care about you. <laughs> Not even the organic brands are safe. Specifically, higher levels of lead in non-organic tampons and higher levels of arsenic in organic tampons. So glad you bought those organic ones, yeah? Arsenic? It's my vagina, not an Agatha Christie novel. <laughs> This is, this is truly so scary. I mean, what are we gonna find out next? That diva cups are just steel pails labeled Home Depot on the side? <laughs> it is cute, it is cute. <laughs> it's hard enough to have your period without putting a Chernobyl tea bag up there. <laughs> I thought it was kind of weird when my pee started to glow in the dark, but I figured that just meant I was finally fully hydrated. <laughs> Online are rightfully pissed off. 35 years I've been sticking a lead popsicle <laughs> vagina. Um, where's the class action suit? Who is doing it? Who is sponsoring it? Let's <laughs> go. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. Let's use our newfound X Men strength to take the entire system down. But first, I need a heating pad. People are blaming the tampon manufacturers, which is actually pretty refreshing. Usually, when it comes to women's health care, it's our fault. <laughs> are you sure the tampons are poison, or is it just your time of the month? <laughs> I know it's too true to be like funny, it's just sad. As for my contract, nobody here is allowed to tell me to calm down, but shouldn't be that hard now that I have all these crystals in my vagina. <laughs> Thanks, tampons. Let's start the show. <laughs> Let's meet tonight's guests. You can catch her on season two of Mulligan on Netflix and shop all her cravings at cravings.com. It's Chrissy Teigen. <laughs> Your wedding ring? No, it fell off. Oh. I was oh. like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Our oh, crowd right? is not usually like that. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And you know her from Three Busy Debras. She's the director of Hannah Einbinder's debut stand-up special, Everything Must Go on Max. Woo! It's Sandy Honig. From the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, and can see him in the upcoming comedy series Mr. Throwback on Peacock. It's Adam Pally. Oh. All right. Well, tonight you'll all be playing for a map to the buried oh. treasure. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea what this is a map of. Uh, but there's a bunch of lines and arrows and an X that marks the spot. So once you find out where this map is set, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Um, we were uh, talking about all the toxins in tampons earlier. What is everyone's favorite toxin? I think my favorite toxin, um, without a doubt, you can tell. it's botulinum toxin type A. Also, <laughs> there you go. Known as Botox. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It should be. Taylor, don't make me pick. I love them all so much. That's like asking me to like pick my favorite child. You're so right. Spoken, spoken like a true politician. Or is that like campaigning again? Sandy for president. Do you have a favorite toxin? Los Angeles Air. Nice. It's actually a bunch of toxins. <laughs> Travel is so hard. All the yes, Adam. What would you like to say? Oh, I thought it was as many as you could get in a time oh. period. Do you have more? I have a couple more. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Our Supreme Court. Wow. Absolutely. Say that. <laughs> yes. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. Okay. I got one more. I knew it. I knew it. I can't wait till the buzzer makes noise. <laughs> the media. Wow. <laughs> Do you have any more? No, I'm plumb out. Yeah? Okay. Are you sure? I, I swear. OK. Good. Travel is so hard, all the rules and regulations. Take your laptop out, keep your shoes on. And as one man in China found out, don't bring 100 <laughs> snakes in. Yes, Adam, what would you like to say? <laughs> Let's do, let's do this for your way. Well, Sandy gave me the one in the middle, and I wanted to be a team player. Oh, go so for I was it. Like, so Sandy said toxic masculinity. Oh, that's good. I want to make sure. Yeah. That's good. That's good. As a man, I wanted to make sure yeah. that her voice got out there. Yeah. That's that's so that, thank you. Yeah. You are a hero. Let's, let's give Sandy thank 500 you. points for that. Yeah. That's a great line. It's a great line. Wait, you get points for just doing anything? Yeah. <laughs> and I just. And a thousand points to Chrissy for yeah. that show. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> truly, we're, we're so lucky you're here. If, if I can just say, I'm really excited that um, both of my parents agreed yeah, to do the show with me. Um, it, it does. It appears in a three shot, it does look like we created you. <laughs> Do we still have time to do the show? Oh, great. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, I thought we were out of time. Okay. <laughs> Travel is so hard. All the rules and regulations, take your laptop out, keep your shoes on. And as one man in China found out, don't bring 100 snakes in your pants. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. A man on his way to mainland China was arrested for trying to smuggle in 100 live snakes. Terrifying. At least he had the decency to put them in little Ziploc baggies. <laughs> but, you know, how else are you gonna get them in your butt, though? <laughs> you're, all, you're all pros at sneaking stuff on airplanes. Uh, how would, in a fun way, <laughs> how would you smuggle a hundred snakes onto a plane? Sandy. Uh, the same way that I did today. <laughs> I would eat them. <laughs> 
my, I, I didn't know, now it was buzzing time. Um, <laughs> I've done this before actually, not with snakes, but I know the best way to get anything in is to just put a full water bottle into your bag and once they see that, they're done. Oh, oh you distract them. Yes, they're like, oh, we got the water bottle. And oh then you get to go on through. That's actually good. Yeah. Yeah. Adam, how would you sneak stuff on a plane? I wouldn't, ever. That's Kira. a good answer. Yeah. All right. Chrissy is rightfully in the lead with 2,100 <laughs> points. Yeah. When we come back, we're learning about each other's coffee orders. Stay tuned.